So now we're actually going to take a look at what makes up an organism. So if you imagine being a human, and I'll roughly draw a human on this side, so we've got our arms, we've got our legs, this looks more like a gingerbread man, but you get the idea. So we've got our human, and making up our human, there are organs. So our whole organism is made up by organs. So you've got things like the eyes, you've got the skin, which is the largest organ, you've got things like the lungs, you've got things like the heart, you've got the small intestines, you've got the large intestines as well, and so on and so on. So our organism is made up of organs, and those organs are made up of something called tissues. So tissues are basically groups of cells which work together, okay, so groups of similar cells. So example, muscle tissue will be made up of lots of muscle cells. So if I draw that, probably look something perhaps a little bit like this. So lots of muscle cells working together and that forms muscle tissue. And I've just drawn four cells here, but obviously it's going to be a lot bigger. So muscle tissue we're made up of muscle cells. So individual muscle cells. So really, in terms of if we're looking at what makes up an organism, then the cell is the absolute key. So the cell is what everything, anything that you can see, plants, animals, anything big is going to be made up of lots and lots of different cells. You can get organisms which are single-celled organisms, but most, or things like viruses which don't have cells, but most things that you're going to interact with, so from cows, sheep, snakes, worms, birds, trees, made up of lots of cells. And it's organized by having muscle cells or some kind of cell, which is then organized into some kind of tissue, which is then organized into some kind of organ, which is then organized in the organism to form the complete person, the complete item, tree, plant, etc. As ever, visit decaffeinatedtalk.com for links to syllabuses, things like that. Follow me on Twitter at decaftalk and of course subscribe and favorite this video. If you've got any questions, any comments, anything that you think that I haven't done well enough, then leave a comment underneath this video.